In today's world of market volatility and uncertainty, your retirement plans need to be front and center. With ever-changing tax laws, healthcare worries, and an unpredictable stock market, don't overlook the vulnerability in your retirement planning. Protecting your family and estate will be difficult with shifting policies in Washington. It's more important than ever to keep an eye on retirement. Hi, and welcome into this edition of Ion Retirement, a product of Market Advisory Group. I'm your host, Rick Everett, along with financial advisor, Jonathan McCoy. Jonathan, welcome in. Yeah, thanks for having me. Very excited to be on today's show. The last time I had you in studio, we touched just a little bit on what are some of the different fees mm -hmm. that financial advisors charge. And the question, I believe, as I posed it to you at that time was, I wonder what the percentage is of people who come into Market Advisory Group to see you, who are currently with another financial advisor, what is the percentage of people that actually know what they're paying that financial advisor? Right. And we haven't run this, the exact statistics on this, obviously, but I would say the vast majority of folks that we talk to have no idea what their advisor is being paid or how they're being compensated. Is it a fee directly out of their pocket? Are they sending them a check every month or every year? for those services, or is it something being paid out from the investments themselves to help compensate the advisor? So, you know, we talk a lot about the fiduciary standard in our industry and the fact that Market Advisory Group, our advisors are licensed as investment advisors and investment advisor representatives to act as fiduciaries on behalf of our clients. From a compensation standpoint, ultimately what that means is we are not allowed to carry any bias towards one investment or product or solution over another based on how we're being compensated. We have to be building a mutually beneficial plan for our clients that helps not only them uh, continue to grow, live and survive and, and live the fruitful lives that they want to live in retirement, but can also help us continue to do our jobs for our clients for as long as, as possible. And, and we are only here to be good stewards of our clients' funds for as long as they're willing to trust us to do so. Um, so how does that differ from some of the big box store advisor groups that you see on almost every street corner? Well, uh, ultimately, you know, a lot of advisors are, are compensated via commissions, meaning that when you purchase a product from them, it's very transactional. They are, they are paid a commission or, uh, for that transaction fee, essentially, as a broker, as opposed to as an advisor. And a lot of brokers are becoming licensed as advisors and they get to pick and choose which of those hats they're going to wear at different points in time and on different accounts. So it becomes very uh, muddled as far as whether the advisor is being compensated as a broker on a commission or as an advisor based on an ongoing fee. We have to be very clear up front as fiduciaries how our clients are going to be paying us before they agree to any plan. One of the biggest hangups that we find though is most of the folks that we talk to are working with advisors that don't have access to tax professionals. They don't have access to estate planning attorneys. They don't have access to Medicare professionals to help them with their health insurance as well in retirement. And it's the biggest thing that we've worked on here at Market Advisory Group is doing our jobs better. We found very early on in our practice that we were falling short of our clients' expectations because we back then did not have access to that. So as we've built this team of CPAs, team of tax advisors, team of Medicare advisors, team of estate planning attorneys, we've look to cover those main four areas of planning for our clients at no additional cost. So Jonathan, at Market Advisory Group, is there just a, a flat across the board fee on investments? Very simply, that would be the easiest way to summarize it, yes. And that's something that we have to discuss in person. You know, our fees typically run anywhere from a half a percent to one and a half percent per year. We don't like to discuss a lot of specific numbers on air, obviously, because it's a very individualized plan that we would put together for someone. and. Uh, the first step that we have to understand is, is what is someone already paying for those existing investments? So if they were to start to change their plan, how might their expenses change if they start to work with a team like ours? But ultimately, we talk all the time, and our, our advisor Danny in our office always talks about the fact that you know, fees and expenses are really only an issue in the absence of value. So if you're already paying these same fees or a similar level of fees and not getting the tax advice, not getting the estate planning, Medicare, so on and so forth, what we talked about before, Ultimately, what are you paying for? Are you getting incomplete advice? When, when you talk to those clients and, and you say, do you know what you're paying your advisor? Or even, do you know what you're paying your advisor for? Do you sometimes get that deer in the headlights look? Yeah, usually it's a, uh, well, no, we don't know. We never <laughs> had that conversation. And that, uh, it, it's, it's, 
it's eerie to me because that's one of the very first things that we discuss with folks before they decide to work with us is here's what it's going to cost to work with us if you move forward with this plan. And some people have been worth advisors for 10, 12, 15, 20 plus years. They have no idea what that advisor has been compensated for that service over that time. How can people find out more about our services, Jonathan? Well, very simply, the, re the whole reason we've got this show is you visit ionretirement.com uh, or give us a call at 316-252-8707. And reach out to us over the phone. Our operators are standing by. They're going to answer your phone calls. Our consultations are complimentary. We can do that over the phone via uh, web conference call or here in person in our offices. Uh, reach out and give us a call. You can meet with our CPAs, our estate planning attorney, our Medicare advisors, our financial advisors, or all four in the same room at the same time. What a, con what a, a concept there, Rick. But just give us a call. We're happy to sit down. And, and ultimately, it doesn't mean we're going to, only, going to end up working together. What we're looking to do is improve upon your current financial status. You know, you brought up an interesting point with having a tax professional in the room because so many investment advisors will tell their clients you might want to get with a tax person to know how this is going to affect the outcome. For every action, there is a reaction. Right. And that's especially so when it comes to taxes. Yeah, that's exactly right. And we like to take advantage of our tax team by simply bringing them down, down the hall into the conference room, as opposed to handing you a business card where you've got to go then hunt down someone else who's not familiar with what your financial plan or your investment plan is, and uh, talking about things in your financial situation they may not be aware of. Having that comprehensive team in-house has been such an advantage to us and our clients over the years to be able to put a more proactive plan together, not just from an investment management standpoint, but also to help make sure that Uncle Sam's not going to get too involved in your business throughout your retirement years. You brought up another interesting point when you started uh, to talk a little bit about the concept of estate planning. Mm -hmm. And that's another service that's all under one roof here at Market Advisory Group. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, and estate planning, it, it's a very uncomfortable conversation. And a lot of times we like to get multiple generations involved just to see exactly what the plan should be, how your beneficiaries or your estate or the charities that you might want to leave assets to are going to handle those funds if you're no longer around to make decisions on your own assets. Uh, having an attorney available to us to at least consult doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be purchasing a trust or a will or power of attorney documents or anything like that. It's just figuring out what we need. Understanding that it's, it's a very similar process to what we look at from an investment management, from a tax management standpoint, you've got to start with that consultation. And that's why we offer uh, the one-on-one -on -one consultations 100% complimentary, simply by calling our number at 316-252-8707 as well. When we come back for our next segment of Ion Retirement, we're going to talk about the conversion of Roth IRAs. What exactly is that and why are people doing it or why should people be doing it? Again, the number, if you have a question for us, our operators are standing by right now at 316-252-8707. Again, 316-252-8707 or visit ionretirement.com. We'll be back with more Ion Retirement right after this. When people work with Market Advisor Group, they get a feel of sense of family. There's a lot of relationships that are made and going on in this conference room, and we really take a lot of pride in that and a lot of satisfaction in that. Every client we work with, we make a custom-made plan to fit them and help reach their goals in life. And then another thing that makes us unique is we want to meet quarterly with our clients and have reviews. Market Advisory Group, we, we have a process, and the process we take people through is first to understand what they have, understand who they are, and then we put together an income plan for them and show them how they, again, they can look forward to retirement and not look, though retirement is gonna be a stressful time. It needs to be a stress-free time. A few unique features of working with Market Advisory Group is uh, holistic in-house financial consultants. Uh, we've got an in-house CPA, Joshua, an in-house estate planning attorney, Gerald, uh, an in-house Medicare advisor, Bill. Uh, we rely on all of those uh, professionals for, again, additional service within our co consultative process, making sure that we've got the advice and the expertise behind the recommendations that we make. You know, as an advisor, I'm not there to sell them one way or the other. I'm there to educate them, to let them know what their choices are. Then I try to help them 
make the right choice where they can save money and feel confident in their decision. Absolutely the best part of my job is getting a stack of paperwork from somebody and they don't know what to do and then I can turn around and give them back a tax return but also to be able to explain what they can do next year that will give them a better answer than what they had this year. When we've got clients that are calling and they need to help out a child or need to help out a grandchild or need to help themselves out and they're, they're in a situation they didn't expect to be in, I really relish the opportunity to help them through that, help them make the educated decisions in somewhat stressful situations because a lot of folks don't have that type of counsel. We meet with so many people one-on-one -on -one in this office that don't ever end up becoming a customer or doing business with us, and that's okay. But when they leave our office, we know that we've helped them either get some answers to some of the questions they had or get some clarity on maybe their own path. But one of the things that we hear all the time is, I wish I would have met you guys 10 years ago because how much further could I be down the road? Well, Johnny Appleseed said, you know, when's the best time to plant a tree? 10 years ago. When's the second best time? Today. And so if we can help people today going forward, that just brings an incredible amount of comfort and excitement for us to come to work every day. Welcome back into Ion Retirement. I'm Rick Everett, along with financial advisor Jonathan McCoy. And in our last segment, we talked a little bit about the different fees that different investment advisors charge and how not every investment advisor is the same. We also indicated we were going to be talking about IRAs in this segment. And so I want to break this down, Jonathan, for people. Let's do IRAs 101, if mm -hmm. we could. Um, there's pensions. There's conventional IRAs, and there are Roth IRAs. Right. So if you could uh, share with our viewers, what is the difference between all three of those? Yeah, so um, pensions are generally a pre-tax retirement account that your employer has contributed to on your behalf, that when you retire, you have the decision of taking a lump sum and potentially rolling it into an IRA to help prevent having to pay taxes on that lump sum all at once. If you do that rollover, it prevents taxation. Um, but the two we'll focus a little bit more on uh, today, and I think we'll, we'll talk deeply on our traditional IRAs and Roth IRAs. So traditional IRAs are holding those pre-tax assets. In other words, you've contributed to that account, to the IRA, you've not paid taxes on that money as you've been earning it. So that's helped lower your taxable income in the years that the money went into the IRA or 401k in a lot of cases that winds up being an IRA. But it's important to understand that when you start to withdraw those funds, it's going to be counted as taxable income, dollar for dollar, just like you get on your paycheck. So when you reach, uh, under, the, under today's rules, when you reach age 72, you're required to take a minimum distribution. What we're working on with our tax teams uh, here at Market Advisor Group is sitting down and looking at an individual circumstance 5, 10, 15 years into retirement to help predict as best as we can what their tax situation is going to be those 10 to 15 years into retirement as opposed to just sitting and doing a tax return every year when oftentimes it's very uh, it's very late in the game to try to make any adjustments. So what we're looking at is the difference between an IRA and a Roth IRA then. So Roth IRAs are accounts that have received money post-tax. You've contributed to that post-tax. When you start to withdraw the funds, those funds can be accessed if you meet two primary rules, being at least age 59 and a half and having owned the Roth IRA for at least five years, you can start to withdraw from uh, funds from that account 100% tax-free, including the growth. So Roth IRAs are a great tax management tool, especially in retirement, especially for people who we can project might have a required minimum distribution that might force them into an unnecessarily high tax situation, especially in their later years of retirement. So let's talk a little bit about the benefits and or disadvantages of a traditional IRA. Right. So a traditional IRA uh, benefits are you're not paying taxes on the money today as it goes in. When IRAs were created, the whole concept was during your working years, you're making more money, you're earning this income, and you're contributing some of this money on a deferred tax basis, so you're not paying all the taxes at your existing income tax rate. So you're passing those tax dollars and that tax bill down the line. You're kicking the can down the road, essentially. And as we've talked about in other episodes, kicking the can too far down the road and allowing that money to, to amass to fairly large amounts, you start to get these very large required minimum distributions. Initially, the concept was you retire, you don't have that earned income, you should be in a lower tax situation. 
But for a lot of folks that we're seeing today, these required minimum distributions sort of, sort of put a floor where your taxable income is not going to go below a certain point. And especially if we are of the belief that tax rates are going higher in the future, that paying taxes at a lower rate in the future is not working out so well as we thought maybe back in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s as people were amassing these large pre-tax retirement accounts. So one of the biggest disadvantages is it, is it puts you behind the eight ball and it puts Uncle Sam at, at the advantage of your retirement because he's the one that gets to dictate how much you're going to pay in taxes on that money that you haven't paid taxes on yet. Now on the Roth IRA, I'm, I'm going to offer the same scenario. The benefits, the advantages, and perhaps the disadvantages. So the biggest disadvantage with a Roth IRA is you've got to pay that tax bill today. As the money goes into the account, you've got to pay those taxes. That, there's no way around it. The biggest benefit, however, is you can defer pulling income from that account for as long as you see fit. Under today's IRS rules, there's no requirement to take money back out of a Roth IRA. And even if you do pull money from a Roth IRA, as long as you've had it for five years and you reach that age 59 and a half, you can pull the money from the Roth IRA 100% tax-free. It's not going to add to your taxable income. It's not going to affect taxability on your Social Security benefits or pensions or anything else. So there's a lot of planning that can go into that, and we've, uh, we reiterated that it's so important to sit down with a financial advisor that has access to a CPA and a tax team that can help run these numbers for you before you start making decisions on things like putting money into a Roth IRA in the first place. And one thing a lot of people aren't aware of is you can actually start to take some of this pre-tax money that's growing in the IRA and convert it to a Roth IRA at any point in time, at any age, but you've got to be very, very careful about how you do that because if you end up paying more taxes on it today than you would tomorrow, then you've sort of shot yourself in the foot from a tax management perspective. So how can we help people at no charge investigate some of these decisions? Well, step one once you come into the office is let's sit down with the tax team, right? We've got to get more familiar with your situation, but by calling 316-252-8707, you're going to reach us directly and you're going to reach our operator, so we'll get you in touch with uh, the ability to set an appointment. You can do that as soon as now. They're standing by ready to answer your phone calls or reach out to us at ionretirement.com. There are a lot of previous episodes and information there that we've talked about. But you'll sit down with our advisors, you'll sit down with our tax team at absolutely no cost to you, reviewing your existing plan, looking at your future tax ramifications, looking at how your investments are being managed, and as we talked about before with fees, seeing how much your plan is currently costing. If you're paying more today than you would with a new plan, and you're not getting any of this holistic advice, what direction do you want to go? So if I was listening effectively, my takeaway from that was in a traditional IRA, you are going to A, have to pay taxes on that money as it comes out, and B, also be required to take a certain amount out every year once you're at a certain age. That's exactly right. And just to expound a little bit on that, these required minimum distributions are becoming a bigger and bigger issue for folks that are reaching their late 70s, early 80s, mid 80s, late 80s. Because as you age, you're required to take out a larger and larger percentage of those account values. So as, we go, as we've gone through this nearly 12 to 13 year bull market now, not only have the account values grown, but the percentage that aging retirees are required to take out has also grown. The issue that this creates is at the same exact time of your life that you're spending less money than you ever have in your retirement. The government is telling you you have to take out the most money you ever have in your retirement. And the crossroads of those two issues is putting people in extremely frustrating and um, money intensive situations that is starting to erode at their retirements quicker than they expected. Now, and also I would guess you'll have to clarify for me though, but if they are required to take this money out on an annual basis and they're required to pay taxes on this money in a traditional IRA, that could also raise havoc with tax implications uh, on Social Security and retirement and everything else. Yeah, that's exactly right. And you're, you're touching exactly where, I'm, where my mind went is, how is all this additional taxable uh, income going to affect the taxability of your Social Security benefits? And every state has different rules. Uh, in our home state of Kansas, uh, you have to reach a certain threshold. Uh, you talk to our CPA, Joshua, he's likely to tell you that if your adjusted gross income reaches around $75,000 or more, all of the Social Security that's taxable on the federal side now becomes taxable for state income tax all at once. So understanding these issues ahead of time is the whole key to our process. We're, I essentially look at our process like 
shining a light through a minefield. And we're trying to look for all of these pitfalls, look for these uh, potential tax explosions before they hit you. I mean, that's the whole point of, we believe, of hiring a financial advisor. But unfortunately, most advisors are just not equipped with the tax team to address these issues. They're simply looking at how are you investing your money? How much do you have in stocks? How much do you have in bonds? How old are you? What else are you getting beyond that? If you've got questions on your retirement, our services, as far as the consultations, are absolutely complimentary. We have operators standing by right now at 316-252-8707. Again, 316-252-8707. Or leave us a question on our website at ionretirement.com. We'll be back with more Ion Retirement right after this. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only to set up an absolutely complimentary, no-obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. This is a $999 value that we're giving away complimentary to the first 10 people who respond. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you want to go? And who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no-obligation, full-blown financial review today. Hi, and welcome back into Eye on Retirement. I'm Rick Everett, along with financial advisor Jonathan McCoy of Market Advisory Group. And Jonathan, in our last segment, we talked a little bit about traditional IRAs and the fact that if you are in a traditional IRA, every year you're required to take a required minimum distribution That's right. of that IRA and once you reach a certain age. Mm -hmm. Now, an inherited IRA is similar as far as the required minimum distributions and things? It's similar. There are, there are uh, similar rules to inherited IRAs. The difference lying in whether you were the spouse of the benefactor or a non-spouse beneficiary uh, of the original owner of that IRA. There are two very different sets of rules there, and, and we, we I've been working with a gal here recently who uh, unfortunately has tripped over an issue from her former financial advisor when her husband passed away. This financial advisor had essentially automatically moved her, her deceased husband's IRA into her name. Her deceased husband was three years younger than her and not subject to these required minimum distributions on his IRAs yet. And by her taking direct ownership of it as if that IRA had been her own, he nearly doubled her required minimum distribution for every year going forward. We're doing some things through Roth conversions and some other tools uh, that are available to us to help her manage that with our tax team. But uh, unfortunately for her, she was working with an advisor that did not have the services of the tax team available. Um, but it is very important to understand what those tax ramifications of inheritances will be ahead of time. And we're getting to the point where a lot of retirees today are asking us the questions, you know, my mom or my dad has these retirement accounts, uh, you know, pensions, 401ks, IRAs, all of this that, uh, and maybe their health is failing or they're just trying to look ahead to what might happen with mom and dad's money if, I, if I'm, you know, inheriting this. How's it going to affect me tax-wise? And most advisors are just not able to address that. And we enlist our, our entire team at Market Tax Services to help people look at that many years ahead of time so that you've got a more proactive plan in place. So if a person inherits a traditional IRA as a death benefit, mm -hmm. um, can they at any time do a conversion of that to a, or to a Roth? If you were the spouse of the original owner, you can take that IRA essentially as your own, or you can take the IRA as a beneficiary. 
So if you do not take the IRA as your own and you take it as a beneficiary, we'll use the example of a non-spouse inheriting an IRA. A non-spouse cannot directly convert the original owner's IRA account to their own Roth, unfortunately. Um, and we you know, would want to go a little bit more depth in depth into how that works with our tax team as well. Because once again, not being the specific tax advisor, we've got to be a little bit careful about uh, you know, giving some people some unsolicited advice on the air because it really is a, a very independent circumstance that you have to look at from a tax perspective. So inheritances can be very tricky, tricky to manage tax-wise, bottom line. And what we're looking at is, should you inherit especially a large pre-tax sum of money, what's the most efficient way to be using those assets? One of the things that changed with the SECURE Act in 2019 is non-spousal beneficiaries now have to liquidate assets out of the inherited IRA within a 10-year time frame of the passing of the original owner. You used to be able to stretch those distributions out over the rest of your life, so that is sort of pigeonholing all of that income into a much shorter period of time, which is gonna bump you into higher and higher tax brackets. And also, as we talked about in the last segment, is going to potentially have implications on your social security and the amount of taxes paid on that. That's exactly right. And I think the bottom line to this whole conversation is how many people are not looking at these things. If you're paying your financial advisor fees for whatever service, even if it's just investment management, you have to look at some alternatives to see, can I get some of this tax advice or look at more proactive tax management solutions along with the investment advice to get a more efficient plan together for my retirement. It's not just a matter of making adjustments to the investments when you retire. And we, we reiterate this time and time again uh, on just about every show that we do. But um, we always reiterate as well to reach out to us at 316-252-8707. Reach out to our team, talk to our operators. They'll get you set up with a one-on-one -on -one appointment either over the phone, uh, online meetings, as well as in-person meetings with our advisors and our tax teams to sit down and look at how all of these things are going to be impacting you. It doesn't have to be rocket science, and what we're looking to do is break this down into everyday terms so you can actually understand what Uncle Sam is trying to do to you. And if you're watching the program and you're not in the immediate Wichita area, no concerns. Uh, we can still work with you, whether it's online, over the phone, or through Zoom. Uh, we want to thank you. We've covered a lot in this episode of Ion Retirement, from fees to conversions of Roth IRAs to inherited accounts. And we'll be back next week and do it all again. Jonathan, thanks so much for being here. Absolutely my pleasure. I look forward to coming back as soon as possible. And that's going to do it for this edition of Ion Retirement. It's a product of Market Advisory Group, who is fully invested in you. This broadcast is intended for informational and educational purposes only. The views, statements, and opinions expressed here are those of the individual speakers and not necessarily those of foundations and its affiliates. The information contained herein does not constitute an offer to sell any security or represent an express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific investment opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns is not indicative of future results. Each individual investor situation is different, and any ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only transact business in the states where it is registered or is excluded or exempt from registration requirements. Registration as an investment advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by security regulators and does not mean the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. Legal services are offered by Eidelman Law Firm. Tax services offered by Market Tax Services. Market Advisory Group does not provide legal or tax advice. Investment advisory services are offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC. This is copyrighted by Market Media Network. All rights reserved. Brought to you by Market Advisory Group. Invested in you. Call 316-252-8707. That's 316-252-8707. Or visit marketadvisorygroup.com.